Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter, welcoming you to part two in our series on modern quilt designing, an art and stitch tutorial. In the last video, we created a Greek key type of design for the sashing of the block. Now we need to fill the large negative space uh, that really will show your quilting on this particular project. So to make it a little bit easier, I am actually going to just go to a new project. So File, New, and I'll say OK. And I'm going to start by creating a rectangle. And I'll just use the rectangle in the Tools uh, library. And I'm going to change the properties of that rectangle. So once I click on Properties, I can click on Transform. I'm going to make sure Maintain Aspect Ratio is turned off. And I'm going to just change that to 10 by 10. And I can see my block now, and it is centered. And I'm going to go to the Tool Preferences, and I'm going to go to Grid, and I'm going to change that to 0.5 by 0.5. Um, the Grid Major to 8 by 8. Uh, show uh, Grid as Solid Lines and Snap to Grid. So once you've changed that, click OK. Uh, turn the Grid on. And I'm going to move the block. And so I will use the Select key, select the block. And I just want to line it up with the grids. And that will help me as I'm drafting this. So I'm going to start with a couple of rows of zigzag. And I'm going to use the Line tool for that. And just I'm going to start in the upper left corner. and basically move over and up and down two for each of these um, zigzags. And because Snap to Grid is on, they're all going to very quickly snap in place. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to basically repeat that um, two rows down. And then I'm going to end at this point here, which is going to be the start of my next block, next section. And so I will use the Select key, which will complete that segment. Now I'm going to pick up the three-point arc tool. And for this, I'm going to start with a circular design, but I'm going to also add some straight lines in it. And you'll see how I do that in a moment. So I will start here where I left off. And because it's a three-pointed arc, it's very important to remember where points two and three are at. So for this one, I'm going to go one, two, three. And because this is the next piece is outside the block, this is a little tricky, but I'm just going to do two, three, and now I'm going to do two, three to basically close my circle um, and create a continuous line. Now I'm going to select the control key and I'm going to do two straight lines, two, three. I'm going to lift up the control key and do a two, three, two, three, two, three. And I'll just continue on alternating between the control and lifting the control and doing the circles. And I'm echoing half the circle here. And now I'm going to do first a full circle, two, three, two, three, and then repeat, two, three. And now I'm going to, um, because I want to end at the bottom here, I'm just going to select a different point for two, three. And I can use the select key. And I have now um, gotten that done, other than some edits. And let me show you how to do the edits to clean up those edges. And I'm going to pick up the reshape key. And I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm working on here. 
And for this reshape, I'm going to start by deleting these points that are outside the circle. And for the points here, I want to make sure that they are cusp points. And if they're cusp points, then I can uh, make this side of the circle basically a straight line. So I'm going to change that to a cusp. And it actually changed the circle, my starting circle. So I'm going to go underneath there, pick that point, and again change that to a cusp. And it, when it is at a symmetry, it needs to actually move to a um, uh, a smooth first and then to a cusp. And as a result, it did um, adjust this line just a bit. So I'm going to bring that down just to get that in place and then snap that there. OK, now I'm going to go to the other side and just space key when I got too far out of. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, delete those points that are outside the circle. And for the ones there, I want to turn them, again, first to smooth, and then to cusp. And I want to do the same, uh, turn that smooth to a cusp there. And once I've done that, I can just pull that straight. Oop. And I can tell that because it was moving both of them that it was, um, let's move that one first, change that one to a cusp, pull that back in place. And now I can draw a straight line there. I can move that into place and I can do a straight line there. And here, I need to um, move these lines so that they are on top of each other. And so if I want to um, move this one out just a little bit, I think I moved it. And I can move this one in. And I may want to play with that a bit, but I think it's close enough for now. So I've now created a half um, half circle there. OK, now I want another row of zigzags. So I'm going to start where I finished here, one. And this is just with the line tool. And I again, I am pretty much just mirror imaging the last one. And I'm done with that. And now for the easy row here, I'm going to do just a row of, um, I'm going to use the three point arc tool and do a row of circles. OK, to clean up the other side, I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to delete the points that are outside the block here. And the smooth, I'm going to turn to cusp and bring the line straight. And now pick up the three-point arc.
and the concept is actually the same, so I'm not going to uh, show all of that here. For the remainder of the block, I'm just going to copy and paste some of the sections that I've done before. Um, if I take uh, these uh, three units right here, actually one, and if I keep the control key down, I can select all three of them. And I'm going to do a control C, control V, and I'm going to do a um, flip vertical. And then I'm going to move them down here. And I'm out of control here. I don't know if that's my Windows 8 or if it's my um, video there. So I can put that in place. And then I'm going to take that that one zigzag and do a control con C control V and I'm going to mirror that as well or actually flip that vertically. Oh, that would be sort of fun also, wouldn't it there? But that I will save for another project. Okay, so now all the pieces are there and I just need to connect them. And I can do that, again, using the reshape key and um, using the, um, the T uh, to connect up the pieces. And I'll do the same with the bottom sections here. And everything is now connected. Okay, now I'm going to take this block, just control C, and I'm going to go to the Modern Maze Block 2, do a control V, and I will resize this so it fits. Actually, it fits in there beautifully. And so now I can actually, you do the reshape key, and I can connect this to my sashing. So I now have my entire block completed. And if I um, hide my backdrop, you can see the finished block. And when I actually brought this into my quilt, I found it very useful to use uh, this distort feature on my IntelliQuilter to get everything uh, to fit in place very nicely and to, uh, and to sew out. Thanks so much for watching. This is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. You can purchase the pattern for Modern Maze, or you can actually subscribe to my blog at www.onpointquilter.com.